Jamie, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can. All right. All right, hold on. Let me just make sure that it switches over. All right. Looks like we're going to start with Jamin Davis. There's a couple hands up, so I'm not sure if those were for Jamin or for Coach. So I guess I'm going to start with Gary Smith of the Florida Times Union. Hey, Jamin. How you doing? Congratulations on the game. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, did you, uh, first of all, did you see this game as any kind of a, a validation? validation? I'm, 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 I'm sure, sure that you thought you should have made all SEC teams. Uh, but did you, did you have anything improved in that regard? regard? It, it sounded crazy. I, what did you say? I'm sorry. It, I'm getting a little bit of a feedback here, but uh, okay, now it sounds better. Was this game in any way a validation for you on not making the all SEC team? Just all season, I already was playing with a chip on my shoulder. I didn't look at this one any different. Um, I just wanted to come out and play for 22 and just ball out and do what I could. So. Okay. And then why do you think it got so emotional out there between the two teams, the number of unsportsmanlike penalties? Uh, I mean, everybody, both of us, both teams just fighting for that trophy. I mean, it's always going to get chippy when it's something to lose. So, I mean, we just got to bounce back and everybody just got to keep their composure, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Josh Moore, do you have a question for Jamin? Yeah, uh, Jamin, congrats. How do you um, – just that last sequence there when it's kind of you guys got to do something and, and you get that deflection from – I think it was Quentin and they had the deflection there. Uh, I know you've had a couple interceptions this year, but what – you know, just what kind of was going through your mind, you know, as you kind of got ready for that series? Um, honestly, I just – in the back of my mind, I just – we just wanted to refuse to lose the game, honestly. We just wanted to – keep our backs against the wall and let nobody – don't let nobody just take it from us. So, honestly, it's, that's been the same thing that we've been preached to all year is if the ball is in the air, it's our ball. So, that was just my main mindset, just to keep playing and go ice the game, honestly. All right, thank you. Let's go over to John Hale and then Larry Vaught. Jamie, just what did it mean to end such a season that's been so emotional for you guys with Chris and Coach Slarman and COVID and all that on a high note? And what can this do for the program moving forward? Um, definitely. It, it was extremely emotional. Um, even walking into the locker room, we were saying, oh, that was for 22. That was for Slarman. Um, it's, just, it's definitely something to show to the younger guys is that we just keep playing through all the adversity, whatever was going through um, around us, going on around us, all the outside noise, just block it up, keep playing. And we know what we go through on a daily basis to put in the work and whatever. And we just, just got to keep going regardless. And then have you made a decision about whether you're going to come back next year for sure? Uh, honestly, I'm I'm just trying to enjoy the bowl win. I'm not really worried about anything else right now. I'm just trying to go enjoy everything with my teammates. All right, thanks, John. Let's go over to Larry Vaught. Jamie, you you had such a good game, but you're out there with a lot of other guys. Just wondered in your mind, who impressed you on your defense today? The way that you all held together. Um, I can't single out anybody. Everybody. Um, didn't back down all 11 guys. We just, we did what we could. We tried to keep playing and make sure, like I said before, that in the back of our mind, we, we refused to lose the game regardless. So, of course, we had a bunch of like, uh, probably, I guess you can call it mess ups here and there, but at the end of the day, we just gonna keep playing, stay together and just play to the next play. And, and what was the locker room once you got inside it? What was it like and what did Coach Stoops say to you guys? Um, definitely, it was like I said before, it was really emotional because, it, like everybody knows, it's been a pretty rough season for us. We had up, our ups and downs, Chris, Coach Larman, and everything. So it's just definitely something that uh, for the younger guys to just keep going and basically moving forward. All right, thanks, Larry. Let's finish up with Lonnie. Jamin, uh, I know that uh, the questions have been asked already, but I, was, I just want to expound upon it a little bit more. I was very curious about uh, whether you, you heard any uh, comments from the uh, NC State players about the uh, SEC as opposed to the, the uh, ACC and all that, and whether there was any kind of a prize thing going on right there, which, you know, the cause a lot of the chippiness. Uh, honestly, I, I don't really pay attention to any outside noise, and I'm pretty sure the rest of us don't either. Like I said before, it's always going to get emotional when you got a lot to lose. So. Of course, you'll have a bunch of unsportsmanlike conduct penalties and stuff like that here and there. But at the end of the day, I didn't really pay attention to anything that was being said or whatever and just make sure I got my guys back and to prepare for the next play. As a follow, quick follow-up on that, uh, what did the coaches say to you all uh, going down the stretch there when it looked like – it kind of looked like the, uh, the, the 
things are getting out of control on on your sideline. What did the coach say say have to say to you? Um, basically, to just keep our composure and um, just go out there and play our game, do what we got to do, and get back to the sideline. That's all that needs to be said. Like we just let our play our play do the talking. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lonnie. We appreciate that. And Jamin, we appreciate your time so much. Congratulations on the victory. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. We should be switching out shortly. I expect AJ Rose will be next. So if you have a question for AJ, go ahead and throw your hand up. And as a reminder, please remember to keep your microphone muted at all times when you're not asking a question. Thank you. Coach, can you hear me? Oh. Yes, I can. All can right. Me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with Coach Stoops. We'll start with Larry Vaught. Mark, Mark, it was a pretty up and down game. It seemed like at halftime you were playing great and had the game well in hand. Then it kind of flowed the other direction. How proud are you that your guys hung tough enough to make enough plays to go ahead and win the game? Well, very proud of our football team. Um, you know, I think there was a few critical plays in there where we had a chance um, to, you know, take it to another level. I wouldn't say put it away, but make us feel a lot better about it. I think the um, the penalty at the end of the first half, we, we settled for a field goal when we actually threw a nice fade for a touchdown and, um, you know, got uh, our tight end lined up off the ball. But uh, that's on us. We, we actually should have went right back to – um, the call that I had to play before with the same formation. So, um, you know, but really proud, proud of our team, proud of our coaches. You know, we're, people don't realize it, but it's a, it's a pretty big deal when you're down three of your full-time offensive coaches. And uh, really proud of Vince Morrow, uh, Coach Bo Knight, um, you know, Mark Perry, Josh Estesbois, Cody Lasita, uh, Maxwell Smith. Guys really stepped up, did a really good job for some young coaches uh, to go win a bowl game, uh, to, you know, to win – uh, the Gator Bowl with, um, you know, two of your full-time coaches in 
a bunch of analysts and graduates assistants and guys that stepped up and really did a good job. So proud of them, proud of our seniors, um, led us to three straight bowl victories. That's, uh, you know, really a big accomplishment. And I greatly appreciate all of our players, all of them once again, really wanted to be here, um, you know, played a, played a good game. Uh, you know, I'm disappointed with some of the things that, 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 went on during the game we got to get cleaned up you know some of that I, I got to look at it it was hard to tell um but you know the the you know some of that unsportsmanlike uh, conduct penalties you know i just i got to get cleaned up and i will that that's not us we're not going to accept that i'm not going to get into touchy or not or whatever i i really couldn't tell but uh these were clearly not uh, officials we're used to and but that also it, it's on me and it's on us and we'll we'll get that addressed uh, you don't know what type of, you know, when you get in these bowl games, you're not used to uh, certain officials. And, um, you know, I got to do a better job preparing us for that. All right. Thanks, Larry. Let's move over to John Hale and then Michael Bennett. Mark, it was obviously such an emotional season for a wide variety of reasons. Just how important was it for your guys and, and just the moving forward to close it with a happy moment, a celebration you know, after everything you've been through? I think it's very important. Um, you know, again, you know, it's been well documented the, the investment, and and it's also been, you know, well documented the toll that it's taken on all players across the country, and to once again see our players step up and want to do that and travel back and forth uh, during their break after you know really mentally being exhausted and still laying it on the line all the way through to the fourth quarter says an awful lot. You know, we talked about it in chapel last night about finishing, uh, you know, with Aaron Hogue that always does a remarkable job. I talked about it this morning. I addressed it. One of the last things I, I said when we left the field was uh, recognizing, um, you know, Chris Oates and, and John Schlarman and, and, you know, having them, their memories in our mind today and, and uh, wishing they were with us. So very emotional year, but uh, great to cap it off with a big victory. All right, let's go over to Michael Bennett. Mark, congratulations on a great win over a uh, ranked opponent. I'm sure that's the way you wanted to finish the season out this year, especially the difficulties you've had off the field. But coming up to this game, you had mentioned a few times you wanted to get all, hopefully all three quarterbacks in. It seemed like Terry was really struggling on the pass. What kept you from putting in Joey Gatewood or Bo Allen? Yeah, I, I, you know, I really, I wanted to, and I probably should have, to be, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I have great confidence in Terry, and, and he did pull out the victory. But, uh, um, you know, it was also important to get the, get the win. I've seen Terry rally us back, you know, many times before. But, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, I wish I'd have got him in, Mike, to be honest with you. But uh, I didn't. Um, fortunately, we came out with the victory. All right. Thanks, Mike. Let's go over to Josh Moore and then Chris Leach. Hey, Mark, when you get to see what A.J. did today, I know Chris is, has kind of garnered a lot of attention this year, and rightfully so, and he, he had both scores. But for A.J. to take off and really go out, I assume this is his last year, unless he you know, comes back again, but, but to go out on a note like that for him. It, it was really big, and I was really happy for him and really proud of A.J. Uh, just like a lot of our players, if you're around here for four years or five years, you're going to go through some ups and some downs. And, um, you know, he certainly has, but uh, he's been there. He's been consistent. Uh, he has a wonderful family. He was the MVP of the game tonight in, in the, this afternoon and, and just really happy for him, really proud of him. He's been here for a long time. And he's helped us win a lot of games. And again, you're going to uh, you know, get criticism. You're going to get, you know, people coming at you and talking about other people. But he just always kind of stuck to himself and, you know, worried about his, his game and himself and uh, happy that he went out that way. Thanks. Let's go over to Chris Leach and then Clayton Freeman. Hey, Mark, you talked about Vince and the offensive play calling a little bit. Um, who are some of those uh, graduate assistants or other assistants who probably get a lot of the credit for coming up with a game plan today on offense? Yeah, the guys that were promoted to full time are, um, again, Mark Perry, uh, uh, Josh Estiswa, Cody Lasita. We're all promoted and we're in full time roles for this game. And Maxwell Smith has been a graduate assistant for us and. Uh, you know, all those guys really contributed and really worked hard uh, leading up to the game. And, um, you know, it was a group effort. And, uh, you know, again, Vince and Coach Bo did a great job and uh, just proud of, of, of the whole group. It's, it's not easy. You're down three full-time coaches and, uh, you know, your two primary play callers. So 
a very different situation and uh, I'm glad that we put it together. Thanks, Chris. Let's go over to Clayton Freeman and then Tim Sullivan. Yes, this is Clayton Freeman with the Times in here. Jackson, you've, you've seen Jamin and what he's been able to do with this defense all year. Um, you know, what would you say about, you know, after, after missing out on all SEC earlier this month, do you feel this was sort of a statement game from to sort of show the world what you can do in a you know, bigger stage of this bowl game January 2nd? Uh, I think every opportunity, every time Jamin steps on the field, he's getting better. Um, you know, he, he, you know, he and I had a good talk last night and, you know, I, I appreciate the way he went out and played today. And uh, so, uh, you know, he's getting better with every rep, with every opportunity and uh, it doesn't surprise me, but uh, I will say, even you know, from the sidelines far, uh, you know, to the, to the far sideline, I noticed him showing up several plays and uh, certainly looked like he played a very good game. I'll have to go look at the tape. All right, thank you. Let's go over to Tim Sullivan. Hi, Coach. Uh, I think you finished today with 99 yards passing, uh, and I know you, you want to evolve in that direction toward more balance. I wonder if you could maybe uh, see, uh, speak to uh, how you see that developing uh, over the next year or two and, uh, and how quickly you can get to where you want to be. Yeah, well, we're going to, you know, this is uh, – we're going to say goodbye to 2020 today, you know, so uh, it's on to the future. So, um, you know, really greatly appreciate the win and uh, but also uh, very excited about the future of Kentucky football. So we'll address that uh, when I get back in January. I need, I need a few days off. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tim. Let's go over to J.D. Drummond. Hey, uh, Mark, uh, Max Duffy seemed to have his magic back at full strength today, did you get a good look at, at the one where he eluded the rush and, and got that kickoff? And can you talk about just his contribution, Yeah, you know, especially the second half? Yeah, that's a great point. You know, field position was such a big deal in this game. Um, you know, and what he did on that, uh, on, the, on the punt was, uh, you know, when I was watching it live, I'll have to look at it, but, uh, you know, really uh, big time play. And, uh, just goes to show you how savvy he is and how talented he is. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, we're, we're grateful for his background with uh, Aussie football right there on that play because, uh, you know, to have the confidence in that to elude the rush and, and then punt it the way he did, um, he's just a talented guy, he really is. He's got more tricks up his sleeve too. I wish we would have had him for, for more years, but uh, like I said before, we're, we're grateful for bringing another Aussie. All right, thanks, J.D. All right, we've only got time for two more, so I'm going to try to get to Derek, Terry, and then Lonnie. Hey, Mark. Uh, Vita played a whole lot today, and so did Carrington Valentine. How do you think those young guys uh, performed in the secondary? Yeah, what Vito, um, you know, was really looking good towards the, the end of the season in bull prep, and then he got a little injury, a uh, ham, hamstring injury that, um, you know, I was really pleased that he was able to play. He missed though, the last three practices, I believe, um, with that hamstring. And, but uh, he, he's out there. He's, he's, a, he's a fun guy. I like, uh, like the way he plays. He brings some energy and some juice. And, uh, you know, he, he did a good job. And then Carrington, you know, we have uh, high, high uh, hopes for him. And we really do. I think he's going to be a really good player. I thought he did a good job today. He was a little passive at times and keeping things in front of him, but that's okay. Um, you know, we'll get, you know, we could work with that and get him, get him tightened up. You know, he's also good at press and, and uh, so just overall, just, uh, you know, really, we're really pleased with him. All right. Last question goes to Lonnie and then we'll move on to AJ. Mark, you already talked about Carrington Valentine, but uh, I also wanted to know if you, if you could expect, expound a little more on what his biggest assets are, and what he's going to bring to your program in the future. Uh, Carrington, he's got some length, and uh, he, you know the biggest thing he's going to bring is he's a competitor. You know that's what I like about him. He's not afraid to get up and and play tighter. Again, you know some of the calls that he was off, but uh, um, you know later, you know when he rolled up and he pressed, uh, he's a competitive guy, and uh, so I, I think he's a you know just a talented young guy that that's willing to work. All right, thanks so much, thanks. Coach. We appreciate your time, and congratulations you. on the victory. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, AJ is going to be here in just a second. They're going to switch out. So leave your hand up if you have a question for AJ.
Hi, AJ, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with Larry Vaught. Uh, AJ, I've got to think, maybe it wasn't a perfect way to, to go out if this was your last game in Kentucky, but it had to be pretty darn close, I would think, for what you, you were able to do. And also, what, what do you think it meant to you, and especially as offensive linemen, to win this game, knowing that hopefully John Schlarmer was looking down at you guys? Uh, John was definitely looking down on his coastline, definitely inspired us all. Uh, it was a great way to end. If this was my last game, I'm definitely blessed to uh, be here and participate in this bowl game again. I'm first in the first bowl game here. We lost, but it was a different outcome this time. Offensive line did a great job today. They was moving people all around all day. And I you know, I'll give credit to, all, to the, all five of those guys. All right, thanks, Larry. Let's go over to Derek Terry. Hey. Uh, hey, AJ, just the offensive performance today, and I guess more so when I ask about the defense, setting you guys up with some easy full position, just how critical was that for, for the offense today? Uh, that was big time. You no know, defense came away with a couple of steals, a couple of interceptions that put us in great field position, and we capitalized off those at, that, at those times. And, you know, credit to the defense to those guys who caught those interceptions and put us in a great position to score the football. All right, thanks, Derek. Let's go over to Josh Moore. Hey, AJ, congrats. And did, did, did I can't it hear surprise, hey, Sorry, can you hear me now, AJ? Yes, sir. So did you did it surprise you that it got as chippy as it did there, especially, you know, when you guys kind of are trying to milk the game uh, there at the, you know, in the fourth quarter? and Or, or did that really – did you kind of expect that to start happening? Uh, I mean, it was surprising, but it was chippy throughout the whole game. You know, it was an emotional football game. Both teams wanted to be here. Both teams wanted to win. And, you know, unfortunately, it, it, the flags was thrown and, you know, a couple penalties here and there. But throughout the, you know, throughout it all, we still managed to come out with a win. That's all that matters. All right. Thanks, Josh. Let's go over to Nick Roush. Can you finally just exhale from this season? It, it's been pretty uh, – what, what does it feel like? Uh, it feels great. I mean, it's unfortunate that, the, you know, the season is over. But I feel, feel good to end on that win, how we did, getting that fifth win, the bowl win. For this, for this community and for the school. So, you know, it's, it's been a long year, a tough year due to these COVID restrictions and everything that's going around. But I feel like, you know, we managed it and we did a great job of, you know, keeping players safe and keeping everybody that was around us safe. You, you've been here through the whole entire bowl streak. Just what does it say about the culture of the program to for the wheels to not fall off when everything was going wrong kind of in the middle of the season? Well, it just shows how, you know, the guys that, that – get recruited here, you know, come here and they stick to the, the program. They stick to what, what this program wanted to go. You know, five straight bowl games since I've been here. You know, it's only been on the up. I feel like Coach Stu's doing an amazing job. The whole coaching staff recruiting players that want to play here and, you know, just want to contribute to this team. I feel like just throughout it all, this, 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 this was a great win. And I just, I'm ecstatic right now. I can't even put it into words. All right, thanks, Nick. And it looks like that's the last question. So thank you, AJ. Appreciate your time and congratulations. Thank you all. All right, media, thank you for joining us for the 76th annual Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. We'll send out transcripts and video shortly. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy New Year. You too. Happy New Year to you. Y'all did a great job. Thank you so much.